स्टूडेंट्स इन आर लास्ट वीडियो वी सॉ वॉट इज एवरेज इनकम और पर कैपिटल इनकम नाउ आई वुड लाइक यू टू डू अ लिटिल बिट ऑफ रीडिंग फ्रॉम योर बुक वी आर ऑन पेज नंबर एट एंड इन दिस पैराग्राफ इट इज रिटर्न दैट कंट्रीज विथ पर कैपिटल इनकम ऑफ यू एस डॉलर्स ट्वेल्व थाउजेंड एंड फिफ्टी सिक्स पर एन एम एंड अब इन टू थाउजेंड सेवेंटीन आर कॉल्ड रिच कंट्रीज okay and uh, those with per capita income of us dollars 955 or less will fall on are called low income category uh, countries so here uh, a distinction has been given which country will be a uh, developed country and which country will be a low income country okay now uh, what is the criteria the criteria is if uh, countries are having per capita income of us dollars 12056 per annum then it will fall under the rich countries category and if it is below uh, us dollars 955 or less than that then it will fall under the low income category so according to this india comes in the category of a low middle income country okay because its per capita income is us dollars 1820 per annum so you see this is a Uh, uh this is the uh, uh, it's a survey which is done in the year 2017 now uh, we'll just look into the last line some uh, the rich countries excluding countries of middle east and certain other small countries are generally called developed countries now we will look into this point in our next topic that is uh, income and other criteria now as we have seen that individuals for individuals there is a mix of goals and uh, uh, mix of goals will lead to the development of the individuals individuals uh, just cannot uh, have only income as a criteria for its development similar is the notion for the nation okay now nations also is built up of individuals and in nation also cannot have only the per capita income as the only criteria for its development so it needs other factors also so now we are going to do those factors income and other criteria for development what will be the other criteria so we are going to study this other criteria now other than income what it will be now uh in your book uh, this table is given so i'll just explain you first and then you uh, you will be uh, you have to uh, literally learn this up okay now see i have a table over here now this table says that the per pci is the per capita income and this uh, has been taken the records have been taken in the year 2015 and 16 okay i have three states over here which is haryana uh, and uh, uh, haryana is 162034 per capita income of haryana is 162034 uh, uh, is the per capita income in rupees for kerala it is 140190 rupees and for bihar it is 31454 rupees uh, for the year it the survey was done in the year 2015 16 now the this values can vary okay but then what you have to understand over here is the concept now if you look into this table you will find that the per capita income of bihar is minimum okay and at the second place is kerala and at the top is haryana that means haryana is having the ma maximum per capita income and bihar is having the least per capita income now bihar for having the least per capita income there are uh, 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 other factors also first is the population population is it's highly populated because of that also the per capita income goes down and the per capita income is not much in bihar uh, so the, that is another reason why the per capita income is less but then we cannot 
according to this table if we uh, we uh, will then rate haryana as number 1 in per capita income but will uh, is this the fact or is this the truth so we will see we cannot as i said we cannot rate uh, only on the basis of per capita income we have to look other factors also now what are the other factors so let's look into one more table in uh, this table this imr is the infant mortality rate now what is infant mortality rate infant mortality rate means number of children dying uh, before the year before uh, one year Uh, in count of per thousand children. Okay, I'll just explain you once again. So, uh, what is IMR? IMR is the infant mortality rate. That means number of children who die before celebrating their first birthday out of total of thousand children. Okay, so this is infant mortality rate. Those who do not celebrate their first birthday out of every thousand children. So, if we are looking into this table, then we see that Haryana is thirty-three out of thousand. That means thirty-three children die out of thousand. Kerala, it is ten children who die out of thousand children, and in Bihar, it is thirty-eight children. dying out of 1000 children so according to this table we see that infant mortality rate imr is least in kerala okay now having infant mortality rate is not good it is not uh, it's not a positive sign okay so we see that even though in this one kerala was in second place here kerala is in first place because the uh, um, number of children dying is very less and haryana it was in the first place of per capita income has gone to the second place uh, that is 33 out of 100 and bihar is in the third place that is 38 children dying out of 1000 now this is one criteria we saw we are going to see another criteria that is the literacy rate okay what is how many children are educated so if we see this table we see that uh, here haryana is having 82% kerala is having 94% and bihar is having 62% so kerala is having the most literacy rate people uh, are maximum educated in kerala then haryana and least in bihar so this is another uh, criteria we have seen okay and now that we are going to see the net attendance rate now what is net attendance rate net attendance rate means it is a uh, number of children between the age group of 14 to 15 years who are going to school okay so what is the net attendance rate we see that 61 is the net attendance rate of haryana and 83 is the net attendance rate of kerala and 43 is the net attendance rate of uh, bihar so we find that kerala is at top position in all these three tables so even if the per capita income is less in kerala but kerala is having a better position in the other tables okay so uh, therefore we can conclude what can we conclude we can conclude that income is not the only criteria to judge uh, uh, the development of a country so what can we conclude from this which state is more developed we can conclude that kerala is more developed because it is having less in infant mortality rate less of uh, more of literacy rate which is good and net attendance is also very high it is at the top okay so this tells us that kerala is better developed than haryana and bihar is the least developed among all these three states now what you have to do this is a very important question and it comes almost every year in some or other way now what you have to do is you have to literally learn this up this table and 
uh, you should be able to explain all this which i explained to you okay so that if the question comes uh, because this is very easy question the only thing that you have to do is you have to learn this up okay now i had explained you earlier i had just uh, mentioned before the starting of the topic that in middle east countries there uh, it is still developed some countries of middle east countries are considered as develop uh, uh, as developed uh, countries now why is it so because we know that middle east countries there there is lots of money okay why because there are, there are so many oil wells which are present but then we cannot look into the money factor only over there we cannot just look into the per income capita income or average income uh, over there only that is not going to be the factor now the what is the uh, state state of security over there in middle east country how secure it is what is what is the condition of women how much freedom women gets so these are the other factors that are going to decide where uh, about how uh, whether the whether to put the other countries of middle east countries to be in a developing state or whether they are developed or they are not developed so uh, now you understand why middle east countries even though um, uh, is having so much of money is not in the category of highly developed okay so you understand that now so this is a important question now i would like you to look into your book we are on page number 10 and here this is the table which is given per capita income of selected states so you have to the uh, economic survey taken in the year 2017 18 so this is uh, 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 you have to just learn this up okay you have to learn this up because questions might be framed from this and you have to learn this table up Uh, what is important the exact figures are not important but what you have to learn what is if you instead of 33 you write 34 that is okay but what you have to learn is you should understand the concept where to put what okay that is very important this is a, a long question that is probable long question that can come and the second question that can come is all the terms that i introduce to you what is infant mortality rate imr what is literacy rate what is net attendance ratio now there will be few more terms in this chapter and one mark question is uh, in assurance is going to come so every year it comes so it will come even this year so you should be ready with each and every definition so that you don't lose out that one mark question okay now next we are going to do with the public facilities which i am i'll be taking up in the next class so uh, please read the chapter even though it is easy but it is more of understanding that you have to do so students we did a comparative study of the different states that is haryana uh, kerala and bihar and we saw that the per capita income is not the only criteria to see whether a state is developed or underdeveloped and uh, similarly uh, the per capita income cannot be the only criteria for a nation also to be developed or uh, underdeveloped so uh, we have to look into some other developmental goals also apart from the per capita income so we are going to discuss further in our next class so just uh, revise the portions that has been done uh, we have not done much but then it needs a thorough reading so please revise the portions stay safe